a very cold good morning all. Uh, welcome to London Place 1, I hope you're well. Uh, we're live here at uh, a very windy, very sunny uh, Stansted Airport. Uh, quite a few interesting departures and arrivals today. Hope you're all good. Please don't forget to hit that like button. I've got to put the gloves on. My hands are ice cold already. <laughs> it's unexpectedly windy today. Um, we've got one mic, so hopefully you can just pick up me. But uh, it is very, very windy. And what we're watching at the moment is the Iberia special schedule uh, inbound, which landed earlier. It is taking, expected to take the Spanish uh, football, national football team, uh, heading out from uh, the game yesterday. They played at the London Stadium uh, yesterday. And uh, so we're expecting them out later today. It is down on the schedule. Um, to, to wait, let me just get that information for you guys. So we're seeing it about 10 o'clock. It's saying it for MSA 21. It's now showing us at 10:15. Uh, hopefully, everyone can hear me. Okay. If we need to move a mic closer, I can do. You can see how windy it is. This is this is the wind pushing the, the camera, shaking the camera. So it is a little bit shaky. Apologies for that. But uh, I can't <laughs> explain how windy it is. It's it's actually got a proper bite to the wind as well. It's really cold. Um, it's really hitting the skin like really hard. But anyway. Uh, enough moaning for me. Uh, let's get on to the show. I hope everyone is well. Welcome to the chat. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, Sarah. Hope we're all good. If you want to be part of the chat, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel uh, and then you'll be able to join in onto the chat. Do say hello to us. We are a friendly bunch. Carl says, sounded good. Lynn says, sounded good. Thank you so much. Right, there we go. Oh. So yeah, apologies for not doing the first day show. Um, bit of a under weather. Had an absolute stinking cold. Uh, it's finally gone or going. Uh, so a little bit of a sniffle. So apologies if you get a few sniffles and a few coughs. But uh, believe me, it's a lot better than first day would have been. Um, and they just didn't think it'd be right. Um, so right, what have we got on the schedule today? Well, Iberia is heading out around about 10 o'clock today, 10, 10, 11 o'clock-ish. Uh, you never know with uh, these types of uh, flights, scheduled flights. It's more or less when the team arrives and obviously they've got a time for slot as well. Um, we also got from Baku, uh, Silkway uh, 747 inbound later today. Uh, Emirates is also on time which is great to see. So we're expecting 777 of Emirates. We're also expecting the cargo of China cargo uh, inbound and potentially China Southern as well. Um, just going to check on that status. Uh, and on top of that we might be getting the beautiful Airbus A321 Four Seasons livery of Titan that's actually scheduled uh, to depart today. So we just have to see what happens. Uh, Rich, welcome to you. Hope you're good. Alan Lee, good morning to you from Newcastle. We have always have this on a Saturday, this slight quiet period, but then it really picks up. Uh, and it gets really interesting. 10 o'clock onwards really, really picks up at Stansted now. Um, we've got some fantastic variety today. Uh, really, really exciting. I woke up, well, I um, went to bed last night, checking, obviously, as I normally do, the schedule for Stansted. Uh, no 747. I was thinking, oh, come on, let's have a 747. I haven't had a 747 on the show for ages. Um, checked in again today. And lo and behold, 
Oh, we've just opened the uh, Harrods hangar. Let's have a look at the uh, supporting beams being folded up as they, I think, pushing the Visjet backwards into the hangar. Possibly, let's have a look. It's a nice uh, rarity to see, actually. So yeah, just uh, was hoping for a 747. Woke up straight away where it was arriving. Fantastic. Uh, well happy with that. Uh, and it's a silkway as well, which I quite like seeing a silkway here. So, lots to come. Uh, Danny, hope you're good. Welcome to you. Danny says, uh, Danny, Alfie and Freddie uh, watching from Leeds. Welcome to you, uh, Alfie and Freddie. Thank you very much. Stick around, guys. It's going to be a good one. Uh, so, if anyone who did watch the, uh, the match yesterday, I didn't, I'll be honest. Um, uh, but uh, that is the plane, this one here, the Iberia, uh, going to be taking them back to Madrid, the Spanish national team. Oh, that wind. Not expecting that to do at all today. So if you just joined us, don't forget to do what Captain Wookie says, and that is don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, it really does help us out, helps us with the, uh, the viewings. Also, going to be getting our first arrival uh, of the show, uh, which is uh, the uh, Ryanair flight, and then our first uh, large, shall we say, special inbound today, which is the Airbus A330 uh, cargo flight, which is operated by Titan. It's part of their. Uh, um, cargo fleet that they invested in uh, and this is uh, the uh, MSA 330 uh, cargo from uh, Tashknecht <laughs> operated by Judas Air or Geodis I should say uh, network that is coming in number two. You can just about see it. We might see if we can get that for you. Carl, let's hope we get it because it does feel like we'd have to obviously vacate here at one o'clock. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get it. Okay, here's our first arrival. It is right in here, first of all. This is uh, another 737 split scimitar upgrade here. It's going long, but it's going to have to hurry up because the A330 is not far away, uh, and we don't have to wait long for another heavy inbound because China Cargo Airlines is also inbound 777F. Lee, welcome to you, hope you're well. Uh, Simple Ben, good afternoon to you as well. Uh, Danny, yep, yeah, certainly can. Give me a couple of minutes. We'll just get the, uh, the A330 and then we'll uh, do a pan zoom. It's quite a busy biz jet today, park today, which is great to see. Right, Judas Air Network here, inbound. Here she is. And already, look at the 
Look at the correction on the wind, the crosswind. Already battering that aircraft. Really strong winds there. You can see the correction just made by Judas. Wayne, good morning to you. Hope you are well. Perfectly done there, we covered that really well. Obviously going long. capture that in a moment when it comes closer to us. Let's have a quick look at the uh, business jet park. Quite a few Titans out and about today. This is a hub for Titan. You can see in the background just behind the Airbus Titan colours you can see a Union Jack flag on the tail and that is of course the MSA 321 uh, which uh, is used by the UK government for Titan it's registered with Titan and it's uh, based here and that is the uh, Four Seasons MSA 321 we are expecting to head out later today now we've got movement here, I think they are going to organise the pushback, here we are into the Howard's hangar uh, Paul Hussey just gifted uh, one membership, thank you to you Paul very busy back there as well but more importantly, let's get this beautiful, beautiful plane here passing us. This is the Geodis A330 inbound. That's just landed. We should get this going out as well. And this is the beauty of this location that we have uh, today. Got views, beautiful views like this. We'll focus back on it as well, uh, Danny, later. But it doesn't stop there, folks, because we've got another heavy inbound and this China Cargo 777 inbound here oops sorry this is the Shanghai flight here
all of you who've just joined us don't forget welcome along and please do not forget to hit that like button it really does help us out to recover at the end there They're just about to put the uh, uh, the global uh, 7500 uh, inbound. This is a 7500 global Bombardier. Just pushing it back. You can see. I believe it looks like the the tail is already in private owner this one um, the the actual uh, registration of this particular aircraft we're watching right now is Victor Papa Sierra um, sorry Charlie Tango Oscar anyone on the chat welcome along thank you for joining us uh, Paul welcome to you good morning Michael morning hope you're good my friend Ken good morning welcome along jet 2 is about to take off soon but we're just gonna get you the close-up of this beautiful 777F from China Cargo, a regular here, we see it more or less every Saturday, but it never gets old. are taking the longer run. I think it's due to the wind.
let's hope we can get some close-ups of, uh, of them head on because that's when we get the waves and when we can use the waves we can get Forrest Gump <laughs> on the screen it's become a, a popular animation on the show I can't get over oh yeah there we go right in there listening to us uh, thank you right there this is the Gothenburg flight here from Ryanair. I can't believe how cold it's got. <laughs> this is March, folks, and it's freezing. I know I say this all the time lately. <laughs> I'm show, but it really is. Now I think Gothenburg's going to do a, a hard left here and go straight round. Yes, I think they are. They're not slowing down. Oh no, they're not. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, boy, right. Come on. You can't see me right now, but I am waving frantically. Come on. Come on, chat. Come on, guys. Give us a wave. Give us a wave. Yeah. Now, too shy. <laughs> too shy. Uh, Adam Logan, welcome to you. Good morning. Uh, Jed. Blue, uh, Jet 2, sorry, is, uh, did I say Jet Blue earlier? Apologies if I did, I mean Jet 2 um, is uh, just lining up. This is the 737 MAX 200 here from Ryanair, the uh, Milan flight. Flash. Friendly Max pilots there. Good on ya. Loading the cargo for Iberia, which is a good sign. If you just joined us and wanted to know why there is an Iberia A321, it's because yesterday Spain uh, was. Uh, had a friendly, I believe, with um, okay. Colombo, 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 <laughs> Colombia. <laughs> Don't know where that came from, folks. Colombia, um, and uh, yeah, the, this is the flight for them heading back to Milan. It's expected ten-ish. I'm, I'm saying it was originally ten. I can't see that yet. I'm going to check right now what he's saying. Um, they've, they've pushed it back. I think. Hang on. And I pushed it back. They've taken it off. Oh no, hang on. It arrived earlier. It arrived late actually. Interesting. So it was scheduled 
uh, for a <coughs> 10 past 9, uh, sorry, 10 past 8 arrival, and it arrived at 8.27. So we'll probably do it later. See if we can see it. We got a wave. Let's go back over to the jet park here. Yeah, so Iberia, let's have a quick look. Yeah, nothing scheduled or shown in the schedule for Iberia. But my understanding, oh no, so 10.15 it's showing. It's still saying 10.15. I can't see that being 10.15. Mind you, hang on. Hang on, folks. Cargo door has just... I think we might, actually. Whoa. Yeah, we're getting ready. Cones are going. I think we might see this go soon. That was a very quick turnaround. So if you just join us, don't forget if you want to support the channel you can do so, you can be a flight crew member or you can also use the super chat, it really does help us out. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> don't forget though, please do make sure you hit and subscribe that like button and uh, the subscribe button, it really does help us out. Welcome to everyone who has joined us today, hope you are. Do say hello in the chat, we are a friendly group. It's great to see so many of you regulars on the chat as well. Welcome to you and to all our flight crew members, uh, welcome along as well. Thank you for your continued support that uh, you have given us. Uh, Wayne is tracking Silkway, which is uh, always, always reliable. Wayne is for, for tracking the really interesting stuff, Rich. Thank you, Wayne. As always, got really excited when I saw that this morning because it wasn't showing on the schedule last night. It was showing it this morning. Um, so Silkway is uh, still expected to be, I believe it's 12. I'm just going to confirm that. Uh, it's 11.37 it's showing now, um, which is great. A little bit delayed, but uh, so it was going to be 11.29. But interesting stuff great great variety today um, really really um, really interesting to see let's see if we can still see the Seattle flight which is going to be uh, the four seasons I say three twenty one Neo uh, it's still showing as 12 12 15 now we should get that as well Fantastic stuff to see. The sun is out as well, folks. Okay, let's go back to the action on the runway, if I can. <laughs> because inbound next is the uh, Limoges flight Ryanair Ah, the sun's out, hopefully get a bit warmer as well as we want Yep, Carl, saw that earlier. Steps and cargo, same for Iberia, being removed. I think we will see this in the next half an hour head out.
Uh, we've also got Jet 2 heading off. Jet 2 ahead to Volta Ventura. And I think I heard uh, an engine sound starting up. Let's have a quick look. <coughs> Pushing it back. Or, uh, no, hang on. I think that might be actually uh, the. Uh, one here. No, it's not. The windows, the doors are open. Not windows, sorry. Are they pushing them back? Yes, they are. I think. Tug. It's very hard to tell at this distance, but it looks like the tug is on. Is the stairs on? I can't see if the stairs, I think the stairs might be still attached. So maybe we're not ready just yet. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Lynn. Yep, so uh, Lynn has just put on the chat as well. If you want to become uh, a member of our community page, it's growing ever so strongly as well. So thank you very much, everyone. Do put it on there. We have a lot of fun and uh, games on there. Uh, lots of uh, banter uh, on the... Uh, on there, if you uh, joined us last week, we took the mick out of our, our good old friend Tom uh, from the Departure Lounge, and we found his green electrical box, which is claiming it's not that one, but we, we're saying it is <laughs> at Heathrow. We, he, uh, let's say, um, how can I put it? He got very close to it at Heathrow, <laughs> and it's not in the same boundary as Heathrow. <laughs> anyway, um, so, <laughs> Tom, if you're watching, <laughs> we love you. <laughs> at Loudow, inbound folks, the only Airbus model that you will get in Ryanair. Barely now. So it seems to be a lot of activity. You can see a lot of people moving about around. I wonder if that is the Spanish team boarding. Yeah, I think that is. That is the Spanish team boarding. So they are now boarding the aircraft for the looks of things. Um, the, the building on the right here, you can see sort of where the yellow jackets are on the right. Uh, that is a sort of private air terminal that they have. A 
Wayne, go ahead for it. Yeah, no problem at all. Uh, if you uh, are into that sort of thing, uh, join Wayne and Tom tomorrow for Modern Mania. It's a good one where they talk about uh, all airplane models inbound. I'm really not saying if you're into that sort of thing. It sounds more seedy, doesn't it? <laughs> We're talking about airplane models, folks, not not uh, not other models. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Ryanair inbound here. So we can always open it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I immediately thought that did not sound right if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, dear me. <laughs> but seriously folks, it is, uh, it's a good show, so do, do, you know, do join in. They're another friendly lot as well. Oh, this wind. So I don't know if I've said the morning to you already. <laughs> I've just seen you on the chat, so if I have, welcome along. <laughs> or if I didn't. <laughs> A make an announcement for our uh, Easter on the tour show. So we we uh, toyed with it, uh, and we were teasing last week over on socials. If you watched our so story, we posted the, I posted a video of uh, basically the globe and where we're going to be. So you tell me on the chat folks, let's make this a bit interactive shall we, where do you think we are going now mods, you can't say much because you already know, <laughs> but to the rest of the chat, where do you think we have booked, and I'll give you a clue, we've not been there before, really excited with this one, uh, and it's got some really, really interesting uh, activities and uh, uh, action around uh, the airport so you tell me uh, and we are going or I am going on uh, the 4th of April so we'll be live on the 5th and we're for about three days <laughs> you, you can tell <laughs> yeah you, you can tell Carl's a mod <laughs> London Loon <Lewin. laughs> oh, brilliant and Nicholas welcome to you 
saying uh, hello from Lewington Spa, UK. Welcome to you. <laughs> so the uh, the guests we have so far, <laughs> and I'm going to include Carlos, even though he's a mod, and, and of course no, I haven't been. No, we're not going Luton, not yet. <laughs> uh, London Luton is the option you've got so far. Dublin, that's a good strong one there. Uh, <laughs> let me know where you think we are going to be. I'll make an announcement later on today in the show. I'm a man. <laughs> uh, there. Oh, we didn't. We missed that. We, <coughs> excuse me. We missed that. Look at that. That's a difference straight away. The uh, the shutters are closed. It's cold. Uh, Amsterdam. We've been there before, Sarah. So uh, not Amsterdam. South Hensley. <laughs> uh, Lake and Heath. This is. Uh, uh, it says Ken, I'll give you guys a clue, it is abroad, it is in Europe. <laughs> Zurich, been there as well. Frankfurt, we've been there as well. You're just going all the places we've been to, so. <laughs> I've just seen Wayne's comment. <laughs> You see, Wayne's still grumpy because I went to Zurich and didn't get him a Rolex and a, a Toba Rome. <laughs> oh, Lisa's Geneva. Mm. Sarah. Saying it's definitely got to be bubbling then. I'll give you a clue. There's expected to be lots of 747s there. At Madeira. Mm. 747 at Madeira would be amazing. <laughs> Lisa's Luxembourg. Michael says somewhere in Germany. To be fair, there's a lot of choices in Germany. Uh, we, we do need to do, or maybe one day, and who's to say we are not going to a German location, but maybe one day I'll have to do a tour of Germany. Because I think that'd be a good plane spotting series. Tenerife, we have Cologne. See what I said? <coughs> seven four sevens, seven three sevens, uh, triple sevens. You get a good variety. Um, dash eights. Yeah, you get a good variety there. That's why we chose it. Never been there as well. Never clue. We've never been there. <laughs> it's alright, so we'll just continue calling you out for it. <laughs> Shannon. 
tell you what, I just wish Shannon gets a bit more activity because I do like Shannon. Phone to Shannon before, love it. Knock. It doesn't look like we've got any more passengers coming out of the uh, terminal there. Well, Ken's asking, is the 747 cargo variety? Um, would it give it away? I don't think it will, because there's not many cargo variety, sorry, passenger variety 747s, is there, in Europe? So, yeah, it is a cargo variety. Name one of the airlines. One of the airlines that go there, okay, are flying with British Airways, so BA. <laughs> You're not going to get it that easy, Sarah. <laughs> Berlin. This is Sarah. Sarah thought she could be clever there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you another clue. Ryanair, I believe, fly there as well. <laughs> Lee says, must be uh, Luxembourg. I'll give you a couple more minutes of guesses. And I will reveal. Cologne, Krakow, says Sarah. Oh, Carl, you can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that when we're in the heartland of uh, Ryanair today. We're at Stansted, this is the hub of Ryanair, and they're so friendly. says no in Lewis it had to be an A380 there as well uh, <laughs> I'll give you an insight it doesn't have an A380 unfortunately it doesn't I just unfortunately not as much as I'd love to see an A380 fly there Lee says Preswick <laughs> it's Preswick in Europe only <laughs> <laughs> I think you might want to check that one, mate. <laughs> I know they don't want to be in the UK. <laughs> uh, Jersey, Edinburgh. <laughs> oh dear. Pegasus inbound soon. We'll give you that. I'll give you a clue. Also, one more final clue before we tell you. Uh, a couple of you have got it right in the chat. <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't be live that long. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, 
Uh, Sarah says Malaga. Lee says uh, Turel. Squeaky brakes. Squeaky brakes. <coughs> Excuse me. Barcelona, Barcelona. I have beefer. That's it, Carl. We're going clubbing. <laughs> Uh, Warsaw says Sarah, getting coming folks will be uh, so I'll grab next. Uh, someone get a WD-40 there. That's quite funny, I like that. Someone just said next one. They'll probably find a bolt on the floor, but hang on, it's not, not a Boeing, so <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> a bit of Boeing humour there. Right, let's put you guys out of your misery, shall we? Right, drum roll please, folks. Because we're about to say where we are going. So, for three days, hopefully different uh, locations around the airport as well. But uh, the places I have seen, some fantastic locations on offer. Um, really, really. Uh, looking forward to this. It is, of course, two of you got it right, and uh, well done uh, to let's see who got it right. I may give that bit of information wrong. Only one of you, I think, got it right, and that was Lee. So well done, Lee. You did get it right. Because we are heading off. To Luxembourg, folks. Where we are going to see hopefully quite a few cargo luxes and uh, lux there's and other stuff, but yeah, Cargo Lux, a very heavy cargo uh, airport. Never been there. Really looking forward to it. And hopefully, it will be some fun on the tour shows for you guys. We said. Uh, this time we were going to go to somewhere different, we weren't going to go to Zurich or Amsterdam this time. But yeah, it's off to Luxembourg. All booked up. Really looking forward to that. And hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy it as well. So well done to Lee. He got it right. Lots of seven four sevens.
<laughs> I, I, yeah, I was trying to avoid putting them both together when I said that, Lee. Thought I'd put a bit of a, a couple of airplanes in between that. go Iberia is off it's only what half an hour late but she's taxiing Iberia's off Iberia's taxiing <laughs> absolutely I'm looking forward to it as well Michael I've never been of course we will go back to Amsterdam and Zurich this year um, but I do want to sort of pack in a few different locations we've not been to so uh, yeah it just makes it a little bit different because otherwise it'll be the same thing over and over again won't it so let's have a little bit of different choice on variety for you guys it was a very good deal with BA heading out got a really good deal at the hotel as well so all in all, very happy. Okay. Uh, Spanish team on board, heading back. Going back with a defeat, Colombo did beat them 1 0. So uh, we'll just don't know what <laughs> feelings are like on board. Maybe a little bit deflated. Sour grapes, maybe. Now we are expecting <coughs> the A321 of Iberia to cross the runway in front of us. Uh, given the size of the aircraft, that is normally expected. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologies for the coughing and the sniffling there. I've just come back from a cold. We didn't do Thursday show because I had a very heavy cold. So uh, apologies for it still there. Very light Ryanair there, took off very quickly.
taxi in. Oh, it's wind. Okay, so the aircraft I've used today for this uh, chartered flight back to Madrid for the uh, Spanish national uh, football team it's an Airbus A321 uh, CEO, current version, not a Neo Is he going for a short takeoff? Ooh, he's going for a short takeoff Okay, so he's not going in front of us, he's actually going to be um, going along here and uh, turning right onto the uh, railway. It's uh, interesting actually what they're doing here. It must be a very light plane. I mean, it is a. a it would be a light plane to be fair, because uh, it wouldn't have a, a lot of a full capacity today. Considering how many uh, Iberia can. Uh, use on this flight with the Airbus A321. So they are going for a shortened takeoff. However, inbound next, we've got Beach uh, Super King uh, inbound. So they're going to wait because on arrival is a Beach B200 Super King Air from Belfast. This is Woodgate Aviation inbound. So a bit of a wait here. Uh, Brandon, morning to you. Hope you are well. If I've missed anyone in the chat, welcome to you as well. Thank you for joining us. It's a very windy uh, stance today. Very rare. I say very rare. It's all been there like this for quite a few times here, but it wasn't expected. I have to say, we weren't expecting it to be so cold and so windy today. But uh, it is what it is. Makes it for an interesting day. Uh, the Beach 200 is inbound. It's uh, on final. What we're watching is the Iberia uh, Airbus A321, which is uh, a charter flight today for the. Um, Spanish Spanish football team Right, here we go, Beach 200 inbound There she is Now this will be a very interesting flight for them given the really strong winds A bounce, yeah. Beach 200, yeah.
Okay, Iberia, I think, are going to be taking off from there. <laughs> really big surprise on that one, actually, because I didn't expect them to be using that taxiway. So, uh, let's see if they use the full length of the uh, the runway from where they are. I mean, I'd be very surprised how quick it takes them. Now he is, uh, is he? Hang on, is he crossing? Hang on. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's not crossing. We are going to see him. We are going to see him take off there from this position. This is very interesting. We've also got weight in the Royal. Um, we've also got Ryanair waiting on the one way. But here we go. Iberia. This is the Spanish football team heading back to Madrid here. Here we go. They go back to Madrid. Also heading out. That uh, that beach king is still taxi and just so you know look at it there it's actually gone a long way all the way down David welcome to you good to see you my friend no problem at all we've announced that we are indeed going to Luxembourg so uh, no need to keep the secret David so I appreciate the uh, the mods keeping tight lipped as well. The uh, Madrid flight, there it is still. I don't know if we can catch it actually. Hang on. There she is turning. Okay. Inbound next. We got Ryanair. The wind is so strong today. We're interested stuff here. Uh, this is the Billund flight. Lots more coming in. <laughs> oh, hang on. Still quite inbound soon. Oh. Right. 
give us a moment folks Do that <laughs> freezing. Oh. Absolute freezing there. By right, Silkway, where are they? That's what you're all asking. <laughs> I know you are. There it is. It is. Just past Dusseldorf. Welcome my friend, hope you are well, thank you for joining me. I have, uh, I need to tune in to your show, I've been missing it a couple of times, apologies, I hope you are well. Uh, flight here. Oh 
Oh, two is inbound. Uh, what we just watched is the. Uh... Oh, let's get Tui. Uh, that was the Venice flight. Operated by uh, Malta Air, apparently, but uh, with the Ryanair covers. Tui with a 737-800 split scimitar. Everybody loves seeing Tui. Pegasus is uh, taxiing out as well. Uh, welcome along everyone who's just joined us. Please do make sure you do hit that like button. Do as what the captain says. And hit that like button. Uh, we're expecting the uh, 747 of uh, Silkway soon. It's just over Europe at the moment, just uh, past Dusseldorf. Guys, uh, wind! <laughs> just trying to get warm. <laughs> I've got really one cold, I want another one. <laughs> Honestly, I was not expecting it to be like this. It's actually quite a mild day temperature-wise, but the wind has just Absolutely chilled the area. Ah, <laughs> oh, Ken. Ken, you're absolute legend. You're going to get a uh, Forrest Gump wave there to you, Ken. And to all of our new members who've just joined us on the uh, uh, very generous Ken there for uh, gifting the chat five membership so thank you to you Ken Never really get away from Tui. <laughs> I don't know why. Right, Pegasus heading out soon. This is the uh, all plays just picked up as well. Uh, this is the Istanbul flight. We're going to see the inbound first is Ryanair. Long one as well. Let them go for the long ones. Yeah. Don't know why. Anyway, Istanbul flight. Pegasus. I can't get over how cold it is. I really is out as well. I love seeing play.
there he is. <laughs> Anyone see the green box anywhere? <laughs> Tom, welcome to you, my friend. Celebrating 10 months, wow, 10 months of being a flight crew. And then the person says, crikey. <laughs> I know, you're getting old, mate. <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. And once again, for your support. We don't have a we don't have a green box, but I take your green box, Tom, and I'll raise it. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Let's raise the green box. To a green plane. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> you know what Tom? I don't care. <laughs> because it's fun. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, play's getting ready to go. So Now this is a beauty, so I'm sorry. This trumps it over right there. Look at that beauty. Now that's a stunner. Goodness me. <laughs> yeah, same here. Same here, mate. Love a play. Oh, it's cold. Normally the furnace, the furnace, the flask keeps me warm, but not today. I just realised we didn't give Tom a uh, Forrest Gump wave there for his uh, 10 month celebration, so there you go. Tom, thank you. Gordon, welcome to you. Hope you are well. Anyone who else has uh, just joined us, welcome along. Do say hello in the chat. Hope everyone's good. Not many easy jets today. Easy jet. <laughs> Blooming freezing. <laughs> as Dale Boy once said. <laughs> what was it? He said, uh, saw a brass monkey over there crying his eyes out. <laughs> if you know the saying, you know.
I don't think Stansted Airport will allow me to do that car as much as that would be an absolute ace of an idea when it's in weather like conditions like this people are actually leaving around me because it's so cold um, because it's just too, too cold to stay out here um, Oh yes, right in front of us. <sighs> Come on right now, you don't want to do a short, you don't want to do a right turn, you want to go in front of us. Yay! Oh, nearly lost me yet. <laughs> Uh, calm down a little bit on the uh, biz jet park but uh, it's still a few things uh, heading out we're expecting the the four seasons later on in the show that's parked up uh, over here just there right folks easy jet Inbound next, Alfred. Welcome to you. Hope you're good. Belfast flight here from EasyJet. Easy jet. Turn in front of us. Yeah. Come on, son, get yourself out there. We want a bit of sun in that easy jet. Go lights. <laughs> Yay, we like easy jet. We like the easy jet. Top marks the easy jet there. And says we're being flashed. <laughs> Someone called the cops we're being flashed. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I tell you what, I'm freezing. 
might have to set the car temperature to come on a bit early before I get in there. <laughs> right, let's give you an update. So, Sun Express is next in Barrow City Antalya flight. And then Pegasus. We also should be getting the Sun Links as well. Bombardier is flashing. This is the uh, global that we saw earlier. Looks like they're ready to go. Silkways is over the channel at the moment. We're expecting it around uh, about half an hour or so. Uh, but Sun Express inbound next is the Antonio flight. <laughs> also got uh, around about 12 o'clock the Emirates Dubai flight. making me eyes water. <laughs> That's how cold it is folks. Oh I cannot wait for warm days here. I really cannot. Okay. And tell you a flight here. 737800 with the split scimitar. This is the Antonio Sun Express inbound. Next. <laughs> Place your bets because it's so cold. I'm not lying. I'm actually, cry I'm actually crying unintentionally, obviously. But the wind it was just hitting my eyes at the moment. It's making the eyes water so much. I'm not getting emotional with the fact that just Sun Express is coming in. <laughs> or that there's a silkway soon. <laughs> What's that? No, you're crying, not me.
up taxiing. We've got a taxi. It's off. It's actually a really nice livery, that one. <laughs> oh, like you, you come here, Ken. <laughs> you come and do this. <laughs> Instead of being in a nice warm house, <laughs> watching probably in your duvet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not, uh, Gordon. No, not yet. We're, we're not in the, the game of uh, um, promotional stuff yet. <laughs> we will be soon. Oh, Pegasus inbound. <laughs> oh, another one going short there, the uh, Bombardier. Before it be crossing ahead of us, they're all getting shy. So, if you're off, no problem at all. We'll see you around next time. Uh, made me laugh. A friend of ours just behind me just said, uh, "It's too cut." We were asking question about this play with its BP ownership, and um, a friend of mine behind me just said, "It's too cold to take the gloves off." So I'm not going to check, <laughs> and I don't blame him <laughs> because it is freezing. <laughs> Fly pigs next. <laughs> Always never understood that URL <laughs> choice. <laughs> it's uh Registration of it, Wayne. Uh, is Victor Papa Charlie Tango Oscar private owner Global 7500? Oh. <laughs> Tell you what, though, beautiful, beautiful livery on it. Really like that livery. Really, really like it. <laughs> going to Preswick, possibly. Not too sure. It doesn't say where it's going. <laughs> oh. waiting because you've got the right air uh, just touching down oh, it's so, oh. honestly last two trips apparently all went to Preswick right okay so if, uh, if Gordon was a better man it'd be Preswick destination He's off. Oh. 
Don't worry, Ken, it's there, it's coming. And she's off. change there look at that swaying as it rotated uh, fair not Ken uh, Silkway is over Folkestone is it Folkestone oh no hang on Flexto. Well, let's go and get uh, Ryan M. Oh, holy moly, this wind is ridiculous. Right in front of us, right now. Oh. Uh, Pegasus inbound soon as well. Uh, it's mere flight. Yeah, it's a bit of a very uh, private information there, Wayne, but thanks for trying. Appreciate it, as always, bud. Got a wave. Right. Pegasus inbound. of Grace apparently is the airline for the uh, bombardier that we heard earlier the global He's going short, he's going short.
bit slow actually taxiing. Uh, giant, welcome to you. Anyone on the chat I've missed, apologies, but welcome along. Lynn's uh, also put a link to the Facebook community group. If you do, uh, do have a look on that, do join in, folks. It's great to see it's growing. Uh, it's your uh, platform to share and uh, share your experiences, your flight uh, spotting pics and videos, all welcome along there in that community. a few Pegasus inbound. Another one coming in soon. The info provided by uh, Wayne, so thank you for researching there uh, regarding the uh, Silkway, which we're expecting soon. It's uh, number five inbound. Apparently, it was uh, a little bit new to Cargo Lux in 1999. And then uh, transferred over in 2011 September to Silkway. Michael, thank you very much for joining us. You take care now. Beautiful, beautiful aircraft. The Neo. It looks so nice. That window, doesn't it? That cockpit window. A Mac 
Ups and downs. Right, the uh, aircraft we've been monitoring, which is this one, this is the uh, Seattle flight, which is supposed to be heading out now. That is showing still 12.15. There's a bit of activity, but not a lot. There is the, uh, the stairs there, but that is the um, Seattle flight. Heading out, Airbus A321 Neo, is able to do the distance. Istanbul Skylink Smolta inbound soon, but just before that it's Ryanair. Update Silk Way is number two, folks. Uh, we've got taken off at the moment the Basel flight with Ryanair. <coughs> uh, Real Games, welcome to you. I can see a 747 folks, she's inbound, she's not far. That's the uh, smart links but behind that there she is, Silkway 747. Inbound. So smart links first. Not painted by Turkish this one. It's basically and a new jet really. Seven for seven inbound here now. This is uh, Silkway seven for seven, uh, four hundred cargo 
Silkway uh, West Airlines. Uh, this is the uh, back in flight inbound, operated by uh, Sierra Whiskey 888. The aircraft itself is uh, 25 years old. 25 years, 1999 in February it was delivered. 100 lights, thank you so much. The Queen of the Skies is entering good time as well. Keep those lights coming in, thank you so much to everyone who have hit that like button. Um, but and a welcome on board to everyone who had joined us today. Who also joined up as a member. We've got a gifted member, but here we go, folks. 747 inbound Silkway. Absolutely beautiful stuff. That 747 looks absolutely stunning. Make sure you do hit the like button for that, folks. We're going to get really close with it as well, which is beautiful. Look at that with the sun. What a shot that is. Stunning. It's absolute stunning. This is why we love Stansted, folks. Uh, Ken, thank you so much. I know you're a massive fan of the 747. You know, a lot of people ignore Stansted, but Stansted just gives you, offers some beauties like this. And when you give Stansted a chance, it just pays off. How about that? What a stunner. Thank you, Ken. Much appreciated as always. We'll give you a wave. But let's zoom in on that hump.
This is the uh, Silkway 747 that the nose does open. The laughing 747 with the smile. You can kind of see the, uh, the opening there. Can you see it? Look how close we are. Beautiful. So proud. Thank you, Stansted. Well, well, the, uh, the wing battles. <laughs> they look beautiful. Everyone, everyone is just focusing on that 7-4. And why wouldn't you? With a bit of luck, they'll park it near us, and if they open up the uh, the nose, we'll be able to capture it. That's all what we can hope for, isn't it, folks? <laughs> Uh, jet 2 inbound as well just pass us or taxi and us Update with Emirates, folks. It's inbound. Silkway just turning there. Let's give you an update on what we're going to see here. Seattle flight is now showing as uh, 12.15. We might finish up on that one, uh, folks. Because there's nothing really afterwards. The Qatar private jet 
is uh, not showing up now until uh, 1.15, which is way past the time that we will still be here. Oh, I nearly lost me out. <laughs> Pegasus there, look at that, coming out in a moment. We've got Brian here also just uh, taking off. It's a very good question, Royal Games, and it's one I actually don't know. So if anyone in the chat will be able to answer that question. Uh, they are quite a large har uh, cargo hub. Not the largest in the UK, must be said, but they do have a large cargo operation here. FedEx is based here. Gone of the days where we used to get an MD-11 here, unfortunately. over Colchester at that moment. So we are heading off to Luxembourg in uh, two weeks time but our Easter period of shows does not start then it actually starts a bit earlier and the schedule um, starts very soon we're going to be back next week we're pushing our show over to Friday our weekday show and it's a little bit special as well we're doing Friday at London Heathrow for a Good Friday show. And then after the Good Friday show, we'll be back at London City on Saturday for mornings at Saturday in London City. And then we're going to have a break during the Easter weekend of uh, uh, Sunday uh, and Monday. And then we are back, and that's when we're back at Luxembourg. We'll kickstart our show on Friday. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday all on Lu in Luxembourg. And quite possibly Monday as well, I think. So potentially four days, minimum three at least. Try 
I also try and do a late afternoon, early evening show at Luxembourg. Ken, no problem at all. You take care and once again, thank you so much for your donation and support. We appreciate you, of course. Get old right now. Right, let's give you an update with the Four Seasons Airbus A321 going off to uh, Seattle. So let's see what we've got over there. It's a little bit clearer, you can see. I think we might. I can't see. Is the. It's supposed to be 1215. I think. I think we're going to do it. Now the interesting thing we've got is the challenge is we are expecting rain. Um, there is a 30% uh, chance of rain. Um, and if you look behind where the Four Seasons currently is parked up, you can see the um, uh, the actual <laughs> the sky behind. It's very dark um, and uh, it is also showing signs of rain behind there. So uh, let's have a look. Not until three o'clock apparently, so let's hopefully pray that that is correct because we've got no covers <laughs> today. We haven't prepared for that so if it does start raining we will have to uh, close up uh, close up a little bit early but I think we'll be okay like I say three o'clock is when it's supposed to rain so uh, we'll see how things go there but Emirates is uh, looking to be now number number one we've currently got Pegasus just taking off so we'll just let you show you that Emirates is inbound. I can say number one, still not in view yet. But this lovely shot is. And speaking of shots, don't forget all of our stills will be posted on the uh, all the best parts will be posted on our social media. Uh, there's bound to be a load of the 747 from Silkway uh, in that group, so uh, look out on our uh, social media page, you can get us on Facebook as well as others, including Instagram as well. Do uh, look us up. So we're on Twitter, also known as X.
still no movement. I've just been told also this might be later today. It, this is a thing when it's a a flight like this. It's it's not a it's a chartered flight. It's a, it's not a main schedule, so it's very flexible. There is Emirates. We just see it now. I don't know if we can capture it for you guys. It's just in the corner. There he is there, just turning. There she there it is, there she is. Beautiful. So I think what we're going to do is make Emirates actually our last flight instead of uh, the Four Seasons because I don't think we are going to capture the Four Seasons in time unfortunately. Um, and it is getting really really cold, I'm not going to lie. But don't forget to hit that like button. It's been a fantastic show, and what a uh, show uh, you guys have made it to be. Thank you so much for the chat. It's been great to see on the chat. And I promised you variety today. I promised you a few special uh, arrivals, and uh, didn't disappoint, did it? At Silkway, absolutely fantastic to see. Uh, quite a few uh, real games, yeah, really quite a few. We'll, uh, we'll post a Silkway uh, clip as well on YouTube as a separate video. If you are a flight crew member, you'll get first dibs on that one, of course. Golden, thank you so much. A fair few wheels, yeah, I think certainly will be a few posted on social media. Don't forget Facebook, Instagram. Here she is, beautiful Emirates here inbound, and we're going to finish up on Emirates. I don't think we're going to get four seasons. We'll keep an eye on it though, but uh, it seems to be showing off from what I've just been told uh, much. Uh, There she is, 777-300 there from Emirates, this is EK65 inbound, operated today by uh, Echo November Uniform, uh, the aircraft itself is nine years old, thank you to Carl, celebrating uh, five months, 
says, awesome show Lewis, well done to you, thank you so much everyone. Still, no movement on uh, ooh, yeah, the stick. <laughs> no movement still for Seattle. I just don't think we're going to get it, unfortunately. Push it back. Doors closed. Okay, we'd like to stay around for Seattle. <laughs> oh god. Okay, we are going to stay for Seattle flight, folks. Because that is showing us moving. class thank you so much as well to you celebrating six months of being a flight crew member Beautiful. <sighs> David. David. Four Seasons is going as well now. Is it? Yeah, doors just closed. <laughs> just over there, between near the in-flight executive, it's just parked up, headed, it looks it's parked in front. <coughs> Four Seasons. Not showing till rain until three o'clock apparently. Rain until three. What yeah, three o'clock it starts apparently. Right. It's a bit over the back there, isn't it? it is. My feet's going that yeah, way. Yeah, it doesn't. It's three o'clock is what it says. No, it, only that's that's the only one going out really. Just, it's just see where the yellow block, block is there, just parked out straight in front of you. So the air stairs has gone, so we are going to see what's going very soon. So we are going to stick around. Oh, hello, who are you? Oh, smart jet inbound. Uh, this is a Hawker Beechcraft 400 XP. Just on final.
Well, that, that jet too is crabbing. Look at that jet too. <coughs> we can hear a uh, MSA 321 Neo engine uh, start up as well. The uh, beacon lights are showing. So we are going to capture that and then we are heading off for today. We'll finish today's show. So it'll be interesting to see if they go short. A lot of the other jets have been going short. Uh, jet 2 inbound now. This is the Alicante flight. Um, so the, the mentioned, oh hang on folks, hang on, sorry, hang on, I just realised something, I'll be back in a minute, we need to let this change up or it will cause issues. Sorry folks, we should be back. We uh the battery on the uh, 5G modem stopped. Uh it ran out of uh, the charge. So just plugged it into the uh power bank. That is the main link for me. There she is. But oh, it's dark. Behind us, it's this behind us, no fun. Well, you so know in front of us that uh, behind the airport, not should be near us. The 
we're back online. Thank you for your patience there, folks. Apologies for that. Uh, Melvin, I've literally just come back from a little bit of very stinking cold, so the fact that the temperature is like this probably doesn't help because I'm freezing. But uh, yeah, look at the look at the weather all of a sudden. Look at behind us. Look how dark those clouds are. We're supposed to not get rain near us, but just around, not far from us, it is pouring. There's actually a sun. I think there's a rainbow near us. I mean, look at all that. <laughs> look at that rain. Anyway, back on to Four Seasons, because that's what we're going to finish up on today, the Four Seasons. It's a very nice aircraft, this. Asking for the weather gods to uh, not rain on me. <laughs> just hold up, just a little bit, please. <laughs> While we uh, just capture this and then we're off. I love it, it's warm, cold, it's beautiful. Beautiful aircraft. I'm assuming this is what you meant about the biz, the dark biz jet. It is obviously owned by Titan. Leased out. Has an agreement for Four Seasons. A charter flights for the uh, very exclusive uh, holiday package holidays. This is heading off to Seattle. The question we're all asking, is it gonna go short? <laughs> There's another one far left, okay. Oh uh, yeah, I know you, hang on. I'm assuming you mean this one. I don't know, Carl. I don't know. It's not showing up. He's going short. They're all going short today. So we're gonna finish up on this one and call it a day on the show. So thank you very much everyone who's joined us today. I'm glad I got this one because I really like this. Been a fantastic day, minus the the weather and, and cold, but uh, variety today is just absolute stunner. So a huge thank you to everyone who's joined us. It's been well worth it. Isn't that beautiful? I don't think, I think they're going straight out here, it looks like they are, <coughs> because there's nothing inbound and the uh, aircraft going up to the runway further down is not ready yet, so I think, yes they are, they are on the taxiway, here we go folks, it's been a fantastic show, huge thank you to all the mods, everyone flight crew and uh, everyone who has uh, donated today. Wish you all a fantastic weekend. We'll see you on Friday at Heathrow. Have a fabulous day, folks. And you take care. I'll leave you with four seasons.
Titan Airbus A321 Neo heading off to Seattle. Right, folks, you've been absolutely amazing. You take care now. We're going to pack up before it absolutely pours down. So see you later and goodbye.